So the assistant starter calling the roll and the first group to be loaded as the red light is turned on. And the flashing light on top of the barrier indicating that loading is underway and Bar Root, who has drawn gate one, is the first to be offered up to the starting stalls. Tad Cheese walks in. Sullivan Street is the next to come along. Tatterock comes forward. Well, Sky Jockey is the pick six favourite. Tatterock is the international favourite. Just a penny walks in. They're almost ready to run. 161 contestants with two winners from two races so far on their pick six form. Two contestants sharing the spalls for the early tri cast. And there's Shane Ryan with the button. They're just about ready to run. Bar Root Tawi in gate number one. Handler with Bar Root settles a little better now, and they're still working on El Rasid out wide. All in gate shut. All in gate shut is the call now. Racing El Rasid out wide, one of the first to go. Tanner Rock, Just a Penny, and Bar Root came out quickly. And they are four wide at the end of the first 250 metres. Sullivan Street goes through in the middle now to make a line of five. Two lengths away, Taj Hees on the outside of Sky Jockey. A length and a half to Crowded, and Levi Draper, Ring Rusty, is three lengths away at the rear of the field. El Rasid pressing on, and with 900 metres left to run, he takes over and led by a length and a half. Bar Root Posse second on the inside of Tanner Rock. Taj Hees three quarters of a length away, four. Fourth, Sullivan Street fifth on the inside of Just a Penny being rode already. Two lengths to Sky Jockey, a break to Crowded, and Levi Draper last. They ran the first 400 metres in 24.5, and with 5 sixteenths to run, El Rasid and Paul Hannigan steer them around the bend for home. Taj Hees quickly moved up on the outside, went to second. Barud under pressure, Tatterock up and down in the one spot, and then Sullivan Street as Taj Hees took the lead. Passing the 300 metres Peg and Dane drove Taj Hees into a clear cut lead. Got away from El Rasid. Barut on the fence is battling on, but Taj Hees is clear with 100 metres left to go. Barut's rallying back into second spot. Taj Hees is getting tired, but he'll win. Taj Hees first, Barut second, El Rasid third, then Tatterock, Sky Jockey, Just a Penny, Sullivan Street crowded, and Levi Draper a long last of all. I wonder how the pick six will go now. Taj Hees. Might have been just a little hard to find. Uh, particularly when you consider that all of his best form had been over much, much further. And he'd had two runs so far this term. The argument could have quite clearly been made that he may have been looking for something longer than the 1400 metres. He got back, he worked to the line he was just simply too good on the day <laughs> and he started double figure odds internationally and uh, certainly wasn't one of the top four picks in the big six the time 126.55 126.55 is the time the record held by Masha Riff at 123.54 so Tajis springs a surprise winning race number three for Tachis, it's career win number four at start number 24. There are the numbers on the board. Number seven, Tachis, written by Dane O'Neill is first. Barut number one, Wayne Smith is run second. Number nine, El Rasid. Paul Hannigan is third, seven, one and nine. Tatterock fourth, Sky Jockey fifth, and Just a Penny has run sixth. Seven, one, nine, five, four and two. The margin's a little more compact than races one and two. A length and a quarter the winning margin. Two lengths 
split second and third. The fourth horse was two and a quarter lengths away. A length and a quarter, two lengths, and two and a quarter lengths in the time of 126.55. Al Rasset led around the turn, but Tajis was there very quickly. He ran to the front, set up a winning break. He's getting tired over the concluding stages. Dean O'Neill just hands and heels, and Barut has rallied back along the inside to take some ground off Tajis again in the run to the line. Al Rasset one paced, and Tata Rock, Sky Jockey, just a penny, uh, the three of them could quite easily fall into the category of disappointing on the day. He's probably the one to take out of the race, the eventual second place getter, Bardut, uh, because he is still a maiden, and he was going up against horses who were multiple winners. So he may well be seen in a maiden shortly. If he is, he's going to be hard to beat. One would think Dane O'Neill is sneaking a little look. On went the brakes and Tachi's running out a length and a quarter to the good. Here's Tachi's heading back to the winner's circle. His fourth trip to that particular spot on a race course is by Ravens Pass from Gaida. Raced by His Highness Sheikh Hamdan bin Rashid Al Maktoum, trained by Masaba Al Mahiri, and was ridden by Dane O'Neill. Well, as could be predicted, Tajiz's win was somewhat of a test for pick six players. And at the halfway mark, there are just eight contestants with a clean sheet. Eight contestants with three from three. Well, Dane O'Neill is on the board here at Maidan on the opening meet of 2016, and that was a pretty smooth victory in the end from, from Tajis. We'll just grab a quick word with Dane. Well done. Smart effort in the end. Yeah, very much so. Um, he travelled well today, and it's a 